Hey everybody, Christopher Rudd here, and uh, welcome to game number 27. Day number 27. My 30 games in 30 days challenge where I'm playing old games, new games, silly games, and serious games. Just games I've never played before. And this game is called Ghost of a Tale. I've never heard of it until I started this series, and it's been recommended to me multiple times. After looking into it, the reviews are very positive. Uh, Ghost of a Tale is an action RPG, and we play as this mouse. And we're thrown into this, like, medieval dungeon-esque type area. And, uh, we need to use, like, intelligence, nimbleness, and stealth to survive. I'm good at one of those things. So I'm sure I'm gonna do very well here. And, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm excited to see what it's like. I, I hear the story's really interesting. And, uh, we're just gonna dive in and check out Ghost of a Tale. So here we go. In the beginning was the green flame, a force without conscious conscience consuming all in its path. The creatures of the world fought back, but one by one they fell, only to rise again as puppets of the emerald fire. It was the rats alone who stood and fought, until at last, at Periclave, the green flame was extinguished. Mara. Mara, where are you? Okay. Oh, man. This is like... Whoa. <laughs> this looks really cool. Great. The grate is cemented into the stone floor and cannot be opened. Can I eat? Your health is low. Press this button to access your inventory and eat. So I'm playing this on the PC, by the way. Uh, but I'm using a controller. You can also find information about quests and lore. So we have, uh, looks like item slots for ears, head, face, chest, waist, and legs. Clothes, food. Let's eat this. A sour apple will gain question mark HP. I'll take it. Mysterious message. Meet me at the top of the watchtower. Cover your tracks and move unseen. S. And a cell key. Well, look at that. Somebody's here to help me. I can't get over how, like, gorgeous this looks. Okay, so jailbreak. We gotta get out of here. I mean, fair enough. What do we got here? A hood. Candle. You put a new candle in your candlestick. Florins, I guess, currency, and then fire steel. Okay. So if we go into clothes, we've got the hood, we've got the belt. This would replace this one. Your humble minstrel's hood or a simple Hesian hood worn by all young mice on the road to Pesa. What if we inspect? No, most would willingly remove their hood. How many other journeys have ended here? Oh, look at that, man. This is like, I'm very impressed. Cell manifest, Tilo. Is it Tilo or Tilo? I'm not sure. Profession, minstrel. Offenses, acts of sedition. You need the screaming door key. You've attracted a guard's attention. Quick, go to the chest and hold... Right trigger and A to hide. Don't forget, you can hide in many places. So there's like this uh, bucket type thing. Uh, some type of table that has an opening. Barrels and then other stuff. Oh, and this is also where we save. Oh, neat. <laughs> this is really cool. Did he just leave it open? Typical. He's a rat. Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. I'm gonna go this way. You can run really fast on all fours. Hold left trigger to sprint. Empty, or I could hide. What do I... 
Who's in here? I don't know, but we're gonna let him out. Oh boy. What? <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. Ferret's balls. <laughs> Ferret's balls. What do you think you're doing, Mousy? Barging into my cell uninvited. Do you know who I am? That's obviously how he would talk, right? What's the footnote? Ferrets are renowned for their wedding festivities, which involve magnificent balls. Often dance at breakneck pace. <laughs> Ferrets balls. Because I have no idea. You don't, uh, you don't know your own name? No, wait. Keld Red Whiskers, that's it. Keld Red Whiskers, at least I was. Navigator of the Lake Witch, under Captain Otto Powderkeg. A stocky barrel of a rat with a short fuse. This is Captain Otto Powderkeg. He was captain of the Lake Witch, a galleon that for many, or for more than a dozen years, terrorized the merchant ships that ferry goods between the five great ports of Lake Veilia. Veilia. It's said that he'd wax his tail and set it alight before going into battle, and it was this that gave him his name. Captain Powderkeg gained notoriety for his crimes and fame from the handsome wanted poster, which he himself had printed up and distributed in order to bolster his renown. The captain was finally captured when the ship wrecked against submerged rocks just off the eastern shore of Lake Velia, near Dwindling Heights Keep. The cause of the wreck was never established and will likely remain a mystery, for once the doors of the Dwindling Heights closed behind him, the captain was never heard of again. So you've come to rob me, have you, you little scrunt? A word too rude to define. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. No, of course not. Two things I can't stand. The smell of mice and the smell of lies. What'll it take to get your stink out of my cell? Well, uh... I need some help. We Ours was signed by S. This is Carol, so I don't think he helped me. Is that right? And what's in it for me? Well, uh, <laughs> maybe I could, like, get you out of your chains. Free? Why would I want to be free? Being free is what got me here in the first place. Well, that and the piracy thing. No, I've got everything I need right here. Damp air, all the flies I can eat, and my own stool. <laughs> but there is something. Down the corridor, the sleeping guard. I need you to strangle him. What? Why? Because he called me a pirate. Well, well yeah, okay, I mean, but... Are you not one? I am proud of it. But it was the way he said it, like, being a pirate's a crime. <laughs> okay, but isn't it? Aye, it is. And I'm not ashamed of it. And why would you want me to kill him? Because he called me a pirate. We're just, yeah, we're going in circles here, buddy. Exactly. So you'll do it then. Look, I'm not a murderer, dude. Fair enough. Why don't you just steal a bottle of his rotgut for me then, and I'll see if I can help. I mean, okay. This is an alcohol made from putrescent oleander wood. And something of an acquired taste. Coincidentally, taste is the first of the five senses to be ruined by rotgut's consumption. <laughs> okay. It's funny, man. It's funny. Alright, let me see if I can get this somehow from this guy. Pretty sure I'm gonna fail this horribly. Yellow bug. Got him. I guess we'll just pick up, like, random food that we see. Okay, tread lightly, try not to wake the guard. This icon, you're only heard, uh, moves slowly to make less noise. If it's bold, it's a very subtle difference. Uh, you're being seen, quickly break the line of sight. So I do have a hiding spot here. If I decide to bail. Okay, this is locked. I cannot get over how amazing this looks. This is like blowing my mind. Try sneaking to move more quietly. Okay. Got all these little bugs. I don't know how sensitive we need to be here, but I'm gonna go as quietly as I possibly can. He doesn't sense anything. Right? Oh god. I was just inside of him for a minute. Do I need to get like right up to him? Oh, there's the key. There's the key. 
Okay, you can see it like it's growing. Got it. Don't say a word, don't make a peep. See, even when we go a little faster, it, it can, could definitely wake him. There we go. Oh, we need the master key. Okay, so this is not quite the master key. Can move these buckets around. Now, can I hide inside this bucket? Don't think so. Take the candle. This door's open. We better we better help our buddy here before we leave. Just be chill. Oh, that was close. This is the same thing, right? Yeah, the master key. Maybe this guy will know about that. This is the only key that guy had. Stick. A sturdy branch, well-balanced for throwing, breaks with sharp crack, can be used to create a distraction or dislodge an item from its perch. Press Y to throw. Left and right to cycle through tools. Up to equip. Down to unequip. Okay. We'll just, like, throw that giant stick inside that tiny bag. No problem. Guess what? Carold. Pusillanimous. What does it mean, this word? I think it means to lack courage. <laughs> In that case, what are you doing in my cell, you pusillanimous little merkin? Sorry, what was that bottle you asked for? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rock gun, mostly, like I said. Oh, yeah. It's a heavy bottle, wide at the base. Okay. Okay, did you help me escape from my cell? What do these chains tell you, mostly? Does it look like I could help you escape? No, I guess probably not. I and I wouldn't if I could. Har. Okay. Okay, I totally, I totally forgot about his rock gut. No problem. I, I got it. He's surrounded by it. It's, the stealth is like super serious though. It's this thing, right? Gotta be. Ooh. Need a candlestick for that. Oh, we could burn it. All right. We can grab a bottle if we want. For potential throwing. There's nothing else on him that I can see. So I'm going to leave. Look at this. This is like... I don't know, man. I'm, I'm honestly blown away by how good this looks. And it plays really well so far. Shit. You can see that little icon. Even from here, he hears this. Alright, we're good. I got it. I gotcha. Here it is. I jumped into the lake last night and of drowning and of a mouse and of drowning a mouse. And now, here you are. Here's the uh, bottle. This is last one. Good! Now pop the bottle's neck twixt my lips. With a deft flick of his head, the frog sends the bottle spinning across his cell. It shatters into pieces against the wall. Every time that scrunt gets sued, I have to put up with his damn snoring. A word too rude to define. Well, no more. I've done as you asked. Are you going to help me? I gave you my word as a pirate. But I suppose I can make an exception. I'll answer a few of your questions. What is it you want? Okay, so Mara's the wife. <laughs> Do you speak mouse? I'm looking for my uh, wife, Mara. Have you heard of her? Is she a mouse? Yeah, she's wearing a hood. Yes, yes. <laughs> and who can say? It's not easy to tell you, my support, with your ears and your tails and your silly hats. <laughs> Goddamn mice and their silly hats. They're not silly. <laughs> right then. That's your first question, asked and answered. Okay. Oh, my god. Uh, what dungeon is this? You're in Dwindling Heights Keep on the shore of Lake Velia. You'd best get used to it. All right then. I'll give you two more questions. Okay, how long have I been here? Let's see. Must have been more than ten days now since they brought you in dead to the world you were. Right then. You got one question left, Mousy. Best make it count. 
Do you speak mouse? Only the curse words. <laughs> right then. That's your lot. Are we all square? You haven't told me anything. This is nothing. I gave you more than you deserve, ungrateful scrunt. Don't you think you owe me at least something? <laughs> the only thing you got coming from me is a good strangling. What? With what? You only got one good leg free. I've killed mice for less and with less. Ugly little. Tell you what. Take a look behind me in my chamber pot. There might be a couple of florins in it for you. Oh my god. Why? Why? Just why? Why? I'm not going to hold on to them forever, am I? It's worth a few florins to be rid of you. Alright. I'm going. How do I... Ugh. How do I even... How do I get out of here? Oh, you can jump. Okay, thank god. Look at this man. So there's this is kind of telling me that there's like a lot of little hidden stuff around here. All right, well, uh, bye for now. Hope you do great. I imagine this is going to be a hard lock. It's really dark. Okay. So we're going to have to go and sneak by that other guy. On the left side, there was that way heading down. Unless we find some, like, master key, which would be dope, but I don't see it happening. I'm gonna just check this side. Might as well pick these guys up. Oh, that's the screaming door. Oh, okay, okay. So let's head down. So the key that we picked up, I, that's why I was wondering, like, what's the screaming door key? But <laughs> I, I totally forgot that all the guy wanted was that rot gut stuff, but we saw the key on him anyway. All right. Let's see what's down here. Flooded cell key. Okay, fine. Okay. So we need, like, a master key. We also need a uh, flooded cell key. This is master key as well. Yeah. We just need to get by him. We could be, like, we could throw stuff to distract him, I guess, but... I'm just like trying, I don't know like what the, uh, I don't know how sensitive it is, you know? Alright. Whoa, hello. Okay. Might as well save. Whoa! Get me around the corner. Oh, that was tight, I think. Well, this does not help me. Manifest. Barf and Neils, guard. Theft is lordly conduct. Is he just patrolling this area? Looks like he is, yeah. Yeah, you better scratch there. Yeah. Good on ya. Now get going. Get! Get out of here. Get! Fine. Oh no. He's not even looking. Master key. This is open. Probably master key. Begging door. Alright. Now, can we close these? No. This is a hiding spot, though. No time to sleep. Oh, cupboard key. Is he gonna see this door open? He's a rat. They're not, like, the brightest of creatures.
Pirate's Baldric. Oh. Hello. Find a Baldric with a silver buckle? A portly barrel of a rat with an infamously short fuse. Captain Otto Powder Keg was Captain... We know this. We just learned this. Perhaps the most renowned pirate ever to sail Lake Velia. In his wanted posters, Captain Powder Keg is always seen wearing a pirate captain's hat, eye patch, baldric with buckle ruff, uh, silk sash, and gray buccaneer's boots. So, like... This... Oh, okay. This is like... Oh. From your inventory, a costume can be equipped or unequipped at the press of a button. I wonder... Okay, so we don't have the full costume, right? But, uh... Oh, this is trouble. Oof. But, uh, we might be able to, like, use this. Oh, what? What the? Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's good. Where do I go from here, though? We'll take this, all this grain. Is this just food? Looks like it is, yeah. Meet me at the top of the watchtower. Fine. What's this? Uh, the tale of a minstrel and a maiden, both imprisoned by a cruel baron for refusing to perform. Sing the poison cup, for I hear it demand. For to hear it I demand, barked the baron from his throne to the maiden down below. Oh, please, Mara, my love, do as asked, it matters not. You need not mean it, you do not, implore the minstrel to his doe. But the maiden wouldn't sing, and her silence grew so loud that a clamor to chastise her rose like thunder through the, cr through the crowd. Okay, costume books. Okay, this is what we were reading, then. Okay, let me take a look at these quests. So, jailbreak, obviously, exit the jail. Uh... Or a pirate's infamy. Assemble the costume of the pirate auto powder keg. You found a baldric, but we need to find all this other stuff. All right. The question is, where do we go from here? Oh, here. Oh, I'm gonna need to like. Here we go. Come on now. Whoop. Get in here. That was actually pretty tight. Okay, so this is like, we have like actual save games where we just quick save. It's fine. I like this, man. I like this kind of stealth too, you know? I, I'm, if you don't know, I'm a huge fan of anything stealth. I've never been a stealthy mouse before, but hey. Oh boy. Come on now. This has got to be it. Do I need to be closer? How come I... Oh, there we go. Begging door. Hit me. Close this behind me. I don't know if that matters. Okay. The drawbridge mechanism is very sensitive, awaiting repair by the blacksmith. Handle with care. How do I get this drawbridge to work? I probably have to dislodge this, don't I? With the stick. What is it that I need to hit? Is it this thing, maybe? Oh, that- oh, maybe- <laughs> how about I hit this? There it is. Okay. Resourceful little guy. I like it. A lantern. Now, we've picked up a couple of interesting things here. Um, figurine of your child, Bryn. Oh, we have a son. Candles. Keys. And then, like, tools. So we have flint and fire steel, a bottle, and an oil-burning lantern. Okay. 
I'm sure when the time comes, we'll learn about that. Is this a uh, potential distraction thing? No, we can hide on this side. But we have one at the top as well. Oh, look at this. I bet we can drop this on him. Will that kill the guy? One of the things this game talked about is that um, you can do it without killing anything. Not required, but I'm interested. <laughs> Okay, he's just, he's just sleeping. It's fine. Thank you. Okay, now this guy's cruising back and forth. My worry... My worry here is, like, I don't know what else is on that side. Oh, so he does go on alert. Or at least he did for a second. Okay, there's a chest here I think I can hide in. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, this is bad. This is quite bad. Whoop! I'm way faster. Oh, but it's, uh, my stamina also gets used. Let's fake him out. Oh no! I'm gonna die. I'm stuck. Oh no, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm out. Oh no. I'm in a lot of trouble. He's just a rat. He's just a rat. Remember, he's just a rat. I can outsmart him. Maybe not. I'm gonna do this. Oh boy. This should be far enough away. There we go. Let's wait till he calms down. Let's eat while we're in here. Mushrooms, bugs, why not? I just keep telling myself, he's just a rat. Not too much to worry about. Okay, now we can actually check these areas. Fate card, what's this? Miscellaneous. An arcane card used by some to, defi to define one's fate? The card's face bears an illustration of a fantastical creature, its limbs contorted to form mysterious symbols whose meaning you do not understand. Okay. I don't feel tired. Crosstail hearts. So these books that we pick up. Checkpoint pass is something that I picked up when we were freaking out there. Council of the Red Paw commands that the bearer of this document be permitted safe passage on the Pesa Road free of harm or hindrance, uh, as if the Traveler's tail was the Baron's own. Okay. Crosstail Hearts. See, like, if I was playing this in full, I'd be reading all of this stuff. I'm assuming we're still not cool here. Whoever that, like, blacksmith is. Here's another card. It's the same... Okay, so they're just stacking. Chainmail face guard. Ah, so we can wear guard stuff. Mouse and rat's clothing. So I wonder how much of this is based around, uh... Finding, like, all these different pieces of these outfits to be able to sneak by certain things. 
I like that idea. Oh no. Now if he didn't see me, yeah, so that's cool. So it's not like he just can like home in on me at all. If I break his vision fast enough, then we're pretty good. I want to check out this well, I think. This guy at the blacksmith seems way too busy to deal with me. Oh, okay. So we're filling up that lantern. There was that earlier area that was too dark. And I imagine that's where this bad boy comes in. Yeah, cool. Look at that, man. That's gorgeous. Hmm. How is it even possible to get past this guy? This is locked, so I won't be able to hide there. Maybe we'll have to approach him in a different time. There seems like there's a lot of different ways you can go, too, which is kind of cool. Like, it's not, like, super linear, yet... You know, you have some idea. What is this gonna do? This is gonna get me in trouble. Or is it? Oh. Oh! There's even a little platforming going on here. What could I possibly want up here? A red rose. Flowers for Mara. Oh, these are collector things. You stood before the bear and your wife Mara at your side. He, he bid you play with the poison cup. Jesus. You moved to Stryker, the Baron, and you cried out when you went to her, and then darkness. How many days have passed since then? That kind of explains why we're in this scenario. Yikes, man. That's sad. And well hidden, too. I, th I was like, oh, maybe that's the actual path we need to be going, but... Oh, no. Oh, I can talk to this guy. All right there, mouse. You, are you talking to me? I... You're not going to call the guards or anything? Well, we been planning to. Is there something I can do for you? What do you mean, exactly? Seems to me you're lost and looking for answers. For a few florins, I could tell you a thing or two. Go ahead, ask. Uh, I'm searching for my wife, Mara. Have you seen her? It'll cost two florins. <laughs> it's not going to tell me anything. If she's a prisoner, she won't be here. Well, why? Where would she be? Couldn't say. All right. Was there something else? <laughs> I, uh... I don't have money to give you. Is there no other way you'll help me? This place is like a maze. Where is it you're looking for? I need to get to the top of the watchtower. You got six florins? I... I yeah, I do. Let's see now. Uh, I can think of a few places off the top of my head. Let me mark them on the map for you. Anything else I can help you with? Uh, no thanks, I guess. So hold on, I got a map. Where the hell's my map? Man, I'm not sure if that helped us or not. Okay, I think I gotta get past this guy. Let me head up this side and see where I can get from here, if anywhere. I don't know what this would do for me here, actually. Oh, hello. An old cannon. Oh!
I mean, we're trying to get to the top, right? So anytime I see stairs, that's a good sign. Okay, so this is the other side of the... Oh, never mind. We're in behind him. Cool. This is that guard again. I don't think I can... Oh, no. Oh, that was close. What the frick is this? Pumpkin hat. <laughs> I mean... If you're telling me that it can be done. <laughs> That's cool. Lots of food out here for me. Okay, so we're gonna have to go back down. So he's coming up here. But like, being back in this area doesn't really help me. Oh, hold on. Oh no, I was a little too loud. Oh no, this is bad news, bears. I might have lost him. It's really stressful, actually. How many are how many are down here? Oh, they're sleeping. They're conked right out, man. Need the footlocker key. I don't see a key on him. I'm keeping an eye on the walls to see if we see a key hanging, but... I'm not seeing it. Okay, cool. So we can hide under tables. But other than that, I don't see any reason for us to be in here. Okay, so I think we're gonna cross. Oh no, he caught me? Oh no. There's a two out here. What about this? Yeah, he's going in there. Oh no, he's not. He's guarding it. Okay. Let's just go through the other side then. Nobody will notice me in this pumpkin hat, I'm sure. This is taking me lower. But sometimes, you know... Oh, an armory key. Okay. So there's got to be a way of bringing up a map. Uh... Oh no. That was damn close. He said he was gonna add it to our map. But... Look, I have no idea where that map is. I'm pushing buttons, none of them work. Oh, you don't have a map of your current location. Oh, okay, left, left bumper. Would have brought up the map. You have to, like, find a map. Which, you know, maybe we could have asked him for. Oh, look. I see an opening. I'm going for it. Oh, boy. 
Breathe, breathe, breathe. You gotta be joking. Take me up, take me up. <laughs> Can they climb? He's dumb. He's dumb. So maybe this is where distractions come in here. It's a whole bunch of sticks. So they close this on me. Is that going to get his attention? No. Nope. I might have to guide him a bit. No, none of this is good. Oh. Got him. Whoops. I'm sure this works. There's a lot more like, oh wait, what was this? A lot more exploring and stuff than I anticipated. What is this doing? I'm like turning it. Oh, hello. Friends. What are you supposed to be? You look lost. I'm looking for the watchtower. Meeting someone there, are you? Yeah, I'm s I'm searching for my wife, but there's a stranger named S. S, I, we know an S. S for scrunt. This S, you don't trust him? He's a rat. Forget about him. Stick with us, we're planning an escape. You wanna come along? Shh. What, what, he should come with us. You should come with us. Uh, the door is unlocked, why are you still here? <laughs> These locks are easy to pick, we just pop them right open. But we need to gather supplies before we go. We won't get far without them. But there's nothing but open moorland for hundreds of miles beyond these walls. Listen to her. She might be a criminal, but she's no liar. I am a liar. No, you're not. Okay, then I'll go by boor by boat. Wait, she? You're a doe? Aye, what of it? I'm just surprised, I suppose. Why? I was told there were no female prisoners here. Somebody told you wrong, didn't they? Yeah, the, the uh, pirate guy. Did you want to come with us or not? Hmm... Okay, tell me your plan. Well, wait. We don't know anything about him. We could be a spy. True, or a very short rent. <laughs> if you're going to come with us, you're going to have to prove we can trust you. What's your name, Mouse? Tillo. His name's Tillo. Wait, how'd you know that? My Uma was a fate reader. Uma literally means second mother. Okay. If you're a reader, what am I thinking right now? That I should stop talking? Wow, she's good. We never reveal our true names to anybody, but you can call me Shadow Phoenix, and I'm Fatal. Don't give him your real name. Sorry, Gusto. <laughs> Gusto! Uh, tell you what, Tilo. Show us your, your our kind of mouse. Bring us the handkerchief off a guard's belt, and we might let you tag along. Okay. I have something for you. Pull up the stolen handkerchief and offer it to the two guards. So I guess we stole this somewhere in panic mode. Don't give it to me. You're the one who asked for a snot rag, Gusto. Fine. Happy now? He's done what you asked him to. Let him come with us. Not yet. There are some supplies we'll need for the journey. Find them and you can join us. Why can't you get them? The guards check on us every so often. They notice we're gone. You, though, they don't seem to have realized you've escaped. Probably because he's so dull. <laughs> so what do you need? We got a list. Bring each item as you find them. We'll stash them in the cell until we're ready to go. Okay. Go on. In return, we'll teach you some of the secrets. How to hone your senses, sharpen your skills, improve your stamina, and whatever. It'll make this all a lot easier. Alright, I'm in. So what do you need exactly? Guard's helmet. I mean like this one. Just about your size. Not easy to come by, 
What can you trade for it? Uh, I'm sure you have something in mind. Do you write your own songs? Or just sing songs by other more talented minstrels? Every minstrel writes their own songs. Why don't you write a ballad about us? Yes, the Ballad of Gusto and Fatale. It'll be good for our renown. I'll help. <laughs> what rhyme scheme would you like me to use? Rhyme scheme. Listen to the professor. Let's do it in couplets. What? How do you know what couplet is? Knowing things isn't a crime, Gusto. If it was, you might actually know something. <laughs> Follow me and do try to keep up. So they have this renown as well. All right, let's go. May I present you the greatest of crooks, Gusto and Fatale. Uh, may I present you the greatest of crooks, but you'll never have read about them in your books. Brother and sister, they're siblings in crime, but they've never been caught and they've never done time. Fatale is wily and brave to the end, but she's not someone. But she's not someone on who you'd ever depend. If Fatale's the brains and Gusto's the muscle. <laughs> they know how to rob and they know how to hustle. At thieving and stealing and crime, they're the best. I'm writing this ballad for them as a test. That was just awful. <laughs> Let's try again. What? Okay, so we gotta like, we gotta like beef them up a little bit. All right. So uh, let's go with all positive stuff. They've never been caught, never done time. She's not someone on whom you'd ever rely or you'd ever depend. They're both kind of bad. See? Oh, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Never read about them in the books. Siblings in crime. Never been caught. Never done time. Uh, that one just rhymes. That's why. He's the muscle. They know how to rob. They know how to hustle. At thieving and stealing, the crime, they're the best. You want to try out smarter than be my guest. They'll steal from you every last worldly possession. But leave you convinced it was at your suggestion. Now please check your pockets, because for our finale... You've probably been robbed by Gusto and... F Are they calling it Fatale? Is that how it's supposed to be? You're pretty good. Alright. Alright, you don't have to make a song and dance about it. Can you, see it? Can you set it to music? <laughs> I charge extra! But can you? Yeah, but it'll take some time. Next time, then. What? Cool. Here, the helmet's yours. Should buff up quite nice. See, we're mice of our word. It was the first time for everything. All right. So, this is really not at all what I was expecting. And I am pleasantly surprised. Like, first of all, the, uh, you notice right away it is, like, very... Like, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I want to see if this opens. Yep. Who's in here? Oh, there's a hidden passage here. What the? There's like, there's a lot more um, exploring than I thought there would be. I thought it would be a little bit more on rails, but I kind of like that it's like this. It's much different from, um, you know, adventure games that um, call themselves adventure games and then it's just like on rails. And it seems like there's a lot of intricate intricate kind of systems, like with the stealth, uh, the costume setup is kind of cool. Oh, what, where'd this take me? Oh, now we're back in this area. So we get these little shortcuts, too. Neat. Neat. All right, cool. Yeah, man, there's a lot more to this than I thought. It's called uh, Ghost of a Tale. I highly suggest you guys check this out if you've gotten any interest in this. I'll put links down below. You can check it out and uh, let me know what you think, but it's... Uh, this seems really special, honestly. Very cool. And the story is not, like, it's not childlike at all. It's a, it's a serious story with serious undertones. And we are playing as a mouse with a pumpkin on her head. I could maybe switch that to explain how serious it is. Hold on. Close. Let's go back to, like, this hat. We could also throw on, like, uh, some face stuff. Some leg stuff. Look at us now. We are, like... We're really coming into our <laughs> we're really coming into our own. We got that chainmail on the face. Doesn't look sketchy at all, man. But yeah, really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is a very different experience to what I expected, and uh, I will say I'll definitely recommend that people check this out. I don't know how long this game is. I wish I could give you some idea of how long it is, but even just based on how much you need to explore, 
I feel like it's going to be a, it would be a long game. So you'd probably get your money's worth if that's how you measure value, uh, which I personally don't, but I know some people do. So, um, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Great recommendation. Thanks again.